recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Saturday, 3rd August 1895 Individuals who are to get freedom in this life have to live thousands of years in one lifetime. They have to be ahead of their times, but the masses can only crawl. Thus we have Christs and Buddha. There was once a Hindu queen, who so much desired that all her children should attain freedom in this life that she herself took all the care of them, and as she rocked them to sleep, she sang always the one song to them, Tat Tvam Asi, Tat Tvam Asi, that thou art, that thou art. Three of them became sannyasins, but the fourth was taken away to be brought up elsewhere to become a king. As he was leaving home, the mother gave him a piece of paper which he was to read when he grew to manhood. On that piece of paper was written, God alone is true. All else is false. The soul never kills or is killed. Live alone or in the company of holy ones. When the young prince read this, he too at once renounced the world and became a sannyasin. Give up, renounce the world. Now we are like dogs strayed into a kitchen and eating a piece of meat, looking round in fear lest at any moment someone may come and drive them out. Instead of that, be a king and know you on the world. This never comes until you give it up and it ceases to bind. Give up mentally if you do not physically. Give up from the heart of your hearts. Have Vairagya, Renunciation this is the real sacrifice, and without it, it is impossible to attain spirituality. Do not desire, for what you desire you get, and with it comes terrible bondage. It is nothing but bringing noses on us, asterisk, as in the case of the man who had three boons to ask. We never get freedom until we are self-contained. Self is the savior of self, none else. Learn to feel yourself in other bodies, to know that we are all one. Throw all other nonsense to the winds. Spit out your actions, good or bad, and never think of them again. What is done is done. Throw off superstition. Have no weakness even in the face of death. Do not repent, do not brood over past deeds, and do not remember your good deeds, be azad, free. The weak, the fearful, the ignorant will never reach Atman. You cannot undo, the effect must come, face it, but be careful never to do the same thing again. Give up the burden of all deeds to the Lord, give all, both good and bad. Do not keep the good and give only the bad. God helps those who do not help themselves. Drinking the cup of desire, the world becomes mad. Day and night never come together, so desire and the Lord can never come together. Give up desire. There is a vast difference between saying food, food and eating it, between saying water, water and drinking it. So by merely repeating the words, God, God, we cannot hope to attain realization. We must strive and practice. Only by the wave falling back into the sea can it become unlimited, never as a wave can it be so. Then after it has become the sea, it can become the wave again and as big a one as it pleases. Break the identification of yourself with the current and know that you are free. True philosophy is the systematizing of certain perceptions. Intellect ends where religion begins. Inspiration is much higher than reason, but it must not contradict it. Reason is the rough tool to do the hard work. Inspiration is the bright light which shows us all truth. The will to do a thing is not necessarily inspiration. Progression in Maya is a circle that brings you back to the starting point, but you start ignorant and come to the end with all knowledge. Worship of God, worship of the Holy Ones, concentration and meditation and unselfish work, these are the ways of breaking away from Maya's net, but we must first have the strong desire to get free. 
The flash of light that will illuminate the darkness for us is in us, it is the knowledge that is our nature, there is no birthright, we were never born. All that we have to do is to drive away the clouds that cover it. Give up all desire for enjoyment in earth or heaven. Control the organs of the senses and control the mind. Bear every misery without even knowing that you are miserable. Think of nothing but liberation. Have faith in Guru, in His teachings, and in the surety that you can get free. Say, Soham, Soham, whatever comes. Tell yourself this even in eating, walking, suffering. Tell the mind this incessantly, that what we see never existed, that there is only I. Flash, the dream will break. Think day and night, this universe is zero, only God is. Have intense desire to get free. All relatives and friends are but old dry wells. We fall into them and get dreams of duty and bondage and there is no end. Do not create illusion by helping anyone. It is like a banyan tree that spreads on and on. If you are a dualist, you are a fool to try to help God. If you are a monist, you know that you are God, where find duty? You have no duty to husband, child, friend. Take things as they come, lie still, and when your body floats, go, rise with the rising tide, fall with falling tide. Let the body die, this idea of body is but a worn-out fable. Be still and know that you are God. The present only is existent. There is no past or future even in thought, because to think it, you have to make it the present. Give up everything and let it float where it will. This world is all a delusion, do not let it fool you again. You have known it for what it is not, now know it for what it is. If the body is dragged anywhere, let it go, do not care where the body is. This tyrannical idea of duty is a terrible poison and is destroying the world. Do not wait to have a harp and rest by degrees. Why not take a harp and begin here? Why wait for heaven? Make it here. In heaven there is no marrying or giving in marriage. Why not begin at once and have none here? The yellow robe of the sannyasin is the sign of the free. Give up the beggar's dress of the world, wear the flag of freedom, the ochre robe.